Hey guys, so as you can see in the title, this is my story and basically how me and my baby's father met. So let's just get right into it. Okay, so let me draw a picture for you guys. We first met when I was a junior. I was um, 16 years old and he was 15 years old. No, no. I was 17 years old and he was 16 years old. So we met through church and we never really talked because we just never had anything in common or we just never talked to the same people. He would talk to the guys and I would talk to the girls. And he was like a quiet person and I was kind of like the loud person. And so we just never really talked. He would do his thing and I would do my own thing. But my senior year, I do remember we had this one encounter. I was on the way to the bathroom and... He was standing outside his classroom doing his own thing and he asked me if I was going to church camp since we go to the same church. Um, like figures like let me just ask this girl. So he had asked me and I didn't really put any thought into it because it was two months ahead maybe. Um, and so I didn't know if I was going or not and so my answer was pretty, pretty blunt but he was like you should go, you should go. And so... I ended up graduating and then um, we I ended up going to church camp so I was already gonna start um, college the following semester or the following like months and he was gonna be a senior and so we started talking at church camp because I was a huge introvert at church camp I kind of kept to myself and didn't really talk to any of the girls um and so he would come up to me and we would like have side conversations and talk and um I don't know like our conversations just got deeper and deeper and I kind of started feeling for this guy like he wasn't an ugly guy and um like I didn't have anything to lose and I was pretty single, so we kind of started talking then. But after church camp, um, I would like message him on Instagram because that was like the only thing he had. I don't know if he had a phone number or if he wanted to talk to me. But first we started talking through Instagram. I would always ask him, are you going to go to the youth group, whatever. Like we would go to the beach, we would go hiking, etc. We would hang out. And he would never reply, so a few times we had gone to his house because I would, like, demand our youth pastor to take to take me to his house so we can go because, I, I obviously, I didn't know where he lived. And so um, he would always make excuses like, oh, my aunt says I can't go and this and that. And I was like, okay, whatever. And he didn't seem like he was attracted to me any, anymore and he wasn't like giving me any attention so I deleted our DMs and when you delete it it erases on both both ends and then he ended up messaging me like a week later saying oh are you mad at me and then I was just like no like and just in my head I thought why should I put my emotions my feelings into this person who doesn't give two f's about me so that ended up happening and then he kind of we kind of started talking again and then we added each other on Snapchat, and that's where we kind of talked most of the time. Um, and we would flirt, and we would talk. And throughout this whole summer, it was summer of 2015, he would come over my house like every night and sneak out. Like at 1 in the morning, and then I would drop him back off his house at like 4 in the morning. And we did this the whole summer and like part of his senior year slash my college. And then, and we ended up, like, dating that September. And from there, we just started dating. And then um, we fell in love. I fell in love with him. I ended up getting pregnant um, the following year, 2016 of November. Unfortunately, we did have a miscarriage. And, um... That was really hard because I had also lost someone in the family. And then the following year, 2017, which was last year, I was starting my second year of college, or I was already in the middle of my second year of college. 
my third year and he graduated high school already and he didn't go to college his first the first year because he had some problems but we ended up living with each other for almost two years and we kind of had problems and now we're here pregnant I'm 14 weeks pregnant and I am pretty excited for this journey I thank God for another blessing uh, it was unfortunate unfortunate for my um, first miracle that happened and we had lost the baby but now I'm 14 weeks and I just pray to God that this is a healthy baby and whatever the gender is which I hope I can tell you guys soon I will love the baby with all my heart and I will always do what's best for me and the baby and yeah I hope you guys have a blessed day and I hope you guys like the story of how we met and how I got here pregnant and so I'll see you guys later. Bye.